Okay then, guys, welcome to today. Um, my name is Diffin, I'm from Farm Plus, I'm one of the pharmacists here. Um, you may or may not have been aware of the fact that the GPHC has recently issued some guidance um, with regards to pharmacy services um, that sell at a distance. I mean, this includes internet pharmacies. But it also may include you as well, especially if you have a website and you're selling stuff from there as well. Um, the uh, the actual guidance itself is available on the website and on the GPHC website, and we'll go over that in a bit. But um, I just thought it would be useful just to clarify some bits from the guidance. It is quite lengthy. Um, it is quite boring as well, but there are some stuff in there which you really ought to be aware of. And... Uh, as a result, um, I just thought it would be easier to do it in a video of this sort rather than anything else. So those of you who are familiar with, with my sessions like this, what I've done is, is that I've um, essentially summarized it into a mind map and um, we're going to be putting this mind map onto the website as well so you can download it at your leisure as well. Um, and also we'll be putting this um, video as well on top of there as well so you can, you can watch this um, should you want to as well again. But essentially... Um, it, um, it it covers um, inter I say it covers internet pharmacies. It covers distance selling, delivery even. So if you have got somebody in your pharmacy who delivers medication to somebody else as part of the routine um, process in the pharmacy, like collection and delivery, then this will apply to you as well. So it will almost certainly apply to every single pharmacy out there. So um, I'm going to click on the scope here. Okay. So this is basically the the, the scope of the. Um, uh, pardon me. This is the scope of the uh, uh, of the actual guidance as well, and it covers things like non-traditional pharmacy services. It covers when a pharmacy services are carried out at different premises, and it also applies um, um, when any part of the service is not carried out in the same pharmacy. So, for example, if you're using a hub and spoke model like some of the multiples are at the moment, it'll definitely um, it'll definitely sort of like a, um, apply to them but there here are some examples that, that they sort of like come across um, that they've actually put on the uh, on, on, on their guidance and it says here things like for example prescriptions that are not handled in hand, handed in by patients but are collected by pharmacy staff or received by post or electronically now that that's actually going to be quite uh, relevant to you in particular if you collect pharmacy prescriptions from the surgery itself um, delivery of medicines to, to, to home or a care home. I mean, that's almost certainly going to be relevant to most of you out there as well. Co and collection and delivery service. So these three are probably most likely to be uh, relevant to you. And also there's other things here as well. So you've got things that click and collect service, which uh, those of you websites may be doing, a mail order service, internet pharmacy service, hub and spoke model. And, and the list isn't actually necessarily exhaustive, um, but it's just to give you a few ideas of, of the scope of this. And it then goes on to the introduction. All right, so um, let's just uh, move this up a little bit. Here we are. Now, essentially, what it's saying is, is that the law is saying that there are several things that must be obeyed. First of all, obviously, prescription only and pharmacy only medicines can only be um, sold from a registered pharmacy. Um, all other laws, for example, if you're exporting or if you're importing, all other laws need to be obeyed. Okay. And um, the regulations in Scotland and Wales are also different to that in England. That probably doesn't apply too much to you because all our members are in England. But in case you're actually exporting to, to, to other countries, even within the UK, the rules are slightly different. Um, and um, the prescription only but here, it includes things like the preparation assembly and, and the labelling of medicines. And the rules also apply to internet pharmacies as well. So essentially, this is what the guidance is saying. This is what the scope of it is. So it probably will affect you. Now, unfortunately, um, there's a lot of boring guidance here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just filter it down a little bit. So it makes it a little bit easier to view. OK, so essentially, it's broken down into five principles, very similar to some of the guidance you may have seen from um, from the GPHC. Um, so principle one, two, three and four and five. All right, let's uh, break this down a little bit further as well. Uh, as you can see, it's, there's a lot there. Um, okay, so principle one covers a governance arrangements that safeguard the health and safety and well-being of patients and the public. 
and it breaks down into five different sections risk assessment regular audit reactive review accountability and record keeping so in terms of I mean I'm not going to go through each and every single one of them with you you can actually pick it up and this is literally I've just copied and pasted um, the stuff from the guidance itself um, it, you can read it at your own time so 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 that's the first principle and if I go over each one with you you will get rather bored of it okay so that's what that's what you will need to read and again when we put this mind map onto the website you can um, view it there as well that's the first thing okay and the second one is principle two um, and this is essentially saying the staff are empowered and competent competent to safeguard the health safety and well-being of patients and the public and essentially what this is is about training um, of staff and making sure that they're competent in what they actually do okay then you've got principle three and again it's quite a lengthy one um, the environment um, and condition sorry let me just change that it's and and condition of the pharmacy premises from which the pharmacy services are provided and any associated premises safeguard the health safety and well-being of the public and, and, and etc it then gives you guidance upon um, the, the the premise itself it also gives you a little bit of guidance on what your website should be doing as well okay so again um, you you will need to, to, to read that it also gives you a little bit of guidance on what needs to be on the website as well so things like the GPHC owner, the a number, the, the owner of the farm, superintendent, blah 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 blah. Again, you can have a look um, on, on the mind map at your own time and, and, and have a look there as well. Alright, the third thing, so the fourth thing I should say, fourth principle, the way in which farm services pardon me, let's just do that. Reduce these. The way in which pharmacy services, including the management of medicines and medical devices, are delivered in a way which safeguards the health, safety, and well-being of the public. And here it talks about several things. It talks about transparency and patient choice. Okay. It then goes on to also talk about things like um, um, doctor services, for example, um, how to manage medicine safely, how to supply the medicine safely, and finally things like patient information. How do you make sure the patient gets the information? And finally, you've got principle five, which looks at the equipment and the facilities and make sure that they're also maintained as well. So as I said earlier on, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. It's all on the website. Um, if you want to look at the actual document itself, the easiest thing to do is just literally to um, uh, uh, copy and paste that into Google. I'm just going to do that now and hopefully what will happen is that you'll get the document bear with me it doesn't look as if it's going to want to work that one let's try google.com there we go there you go so if you google that what will happen is that you will um you can then actually look at the first um, um hit on google and you can then download the relevant guidance from there as well so that's the way I would look at that so it's a very very brief introduction to it. again I said you, you've got the mind map on the website so please have a look at that and um, um, hope you find this useful again if you do need us then please do give us a shout okay then so I'll speak to you later I hope in another video and um, good luck with this